Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Dean back in Mama's Kitchen today here to share really delicious, easy recipes for y'all. And today we're doing bar recipes. A hundred years ago when I did Jamie Dean's Home for Dinner, Jack was a wee little guy and he's driving to school now. I can't believe it. Don't get me started. I started to make different kind of bars for kids and really love it. And also a, a no-cook oatmeal. There's so many fun recipes out there that you can share with your kids that you will enjoy too. And this is really one of them. I'm going to go into a large saucepan with three tablespoons of butter is what we're going to start with. And now that that's melted down, I'm going to add three and a half cups of miniature marshmallows. And I've also got some crunchy peanut butter here. How is that for a start, my good people? Butter, marshmallows, and peanut butter. Now I've got to cook this just for a few minutes until everything gets nice and melty. This is really a quick recipe that you can put together. This is perfect for your lunch boxes or, or for a tailgate or for any snacks to keep around for your kids. And y'all know me, I will change a recipe faster than I can fix it. So if you want to do anything different, if you want to use you can pick the kind of cereals that you want to do. You can add granola to it. You can do uh, an organic peanut butter. You could use just anything you want. You could use colored marshmallows. If y'all just fix it one time, like I'm sharing with y'all today, then you can spend the next couple of times kind of tweaking it and making it your own. And just standing here right now with all this sweetness going, the first thing I would add is a bag of crushed up pretzels to this. Oh my goodness. Get a little bit of that softy going in with the sweet. So this will take one second. So what we're using for our cereal today is round peanut butter puffs. So this is like a chocolate and peanut butter because underneath here, we've got the little rice krispies in a chocolate flavor. So that's where I'm telling you, you can change it up. If you don't like peanut butter, you could find regular balls without flavor, and you can certainly find, find these Rice crispy cereals without any flavor on it. But today, for me, yes sir, we're going peanut butter and chocolate. This is melted down good enough now. I'm gonna add our cereal in here. That's a big old measuring bowl. Make sure that all of this gets coated. Now would be a good time to add in any nuts if you wanted to, and I know it drives you crazy. I drive my mom crazy, I drive my wife crazy. I talk about food, I cook food, and then I change recipes so quickly. You could put pecans in here, walnuts in here, you could put chocolate chip pieces in here. Golly, that looks good. Your kids are gonna love this. And look how simple it is. Got a 15 by nine pan that we've already got greased up. And I'm gonna dump this cereal down in here. Just as easy as you please. Spread this out while it's still warm. And now I got y'all thinking about what you put on top of here, don't I? That looks like a perfect place to park some of your favorite things that you like. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna leave this here to cool for about an hour, and then we're gonna be able to cut them. I got a couple of recipes going this morning, so y'all stick around, and when we come back, we'll enjoy some of these chocolate peanut butter bars together. Right on. Our peanut butter chocolate bars are ready, y'all. Let's see what this looks like. I'm taking these home. Matthew's gonna get one of these in his lunchbox tomorrow. Oh, he'll be a happy boy. Look how pretty that is. And like I said, now if y'all come up with some good things to put in here or to substitute, y'all send us a note and let me know because I love to learn about cooking from people that have better ideas than me and I don't have to look forward to find somebody that has a better idea than me. But today, not too bad. I'm Jamie Dean. This is a good cereal bar. We'll see y'all around the kitchen. Really good. Mm. Bye y'all, thanks. 
Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.